This episode, man, is pretty crazy. It's directed by Greg Nicotero. He just directed uh, the episode three episodes back, man, the mid-season premiere. So the awesome Greg Nicotero is back at it again. He made a really great episode, man, so let's get right on to this. So first off, Carol is baking cookies, man. It's like, what was it? It was like um, a nut something, uh, whatever they're called, and then it was like, what, what was it? It was something real stupid, man, like something weird. It was, I, I don't know what it was. Um, but the, the cookies actually looks pretty okay, man, honestly. They kind of look like pumpkin cookies or something, but actually I wouldn't mind to actually taste it. Uh, but, you know, Carol always baking, Carol always doing that sort of stuff. So, cool thing about that. Uh, Rick returns, man, and I love how he says to Carol, you know, we're going to have to fight. So meet up at the church in an hour. There's going to be a meeting at the church. So Morgan ends up talking to Carol, basically saying we haven't talked for weeks, and Carol basically is just like, you know what, like, you know, kind of like, she don't want to talk, but she's kind of like, just, I let it go. Continue. That's the past. Continue to, like, just don't even think about the, the a few weeks ago. Basically, she's saying just move on, and Morgan's trying to, he's still, like, stuck in that, you know, a few weeks ago where, you know, the whole confrontation and they're fighting and everything. So she kind of moved on already. He's still there. So the meeting's at the church, man, and, of course, we end up seeing Tobin and Carol. They end up kissing but while they're kissing, man, Abraham is leaving Rosita. He's leaving her, basically, man. He's done. He has basically moved to Sasha's side, man. And then Eugene's out there eating a cookie, man, eating one of Carol's cookie. Have you tasted this cookie, Rosita? It's very chewy. Oh, my God. That's classified. <laughs> That's, it's, it's, of course, Eugene Trump 2016 on the shirt. No, it didn't say Trump 2016, but imagine if it said that. That would have been funny, but no, but uh, anyway, Eugene always at the wrong places at the wrong time making bad jokes, and Rosita just slams the door on him, man. Uh, poor Rosita, really bad uh, thing for Abraham to do. So he ends up breaking with her, uh, breaking up with her. So they end up drawing a map of Negan's compound, basically, where his armory is, his pantry of food and everything. Uh, and basically, Rick's like, we're going to bring him Gregory's head. How are we going to bring him Gregory's head, you say? We're going to go get a zombie that looks like Gregory close enough, and we're going to make it look like him beard and all that sort of thing. We're going to make it look like a decapitated Gregory's head. So they end up looking for one of the walkers, a look-alike. They find one. <laughs> Rick ends up breaking the nose. The, the, the zombie's already dead and everything, the walker, but he ends up breaking the nose a little bit, you know, and kind of go with it sort of thing. He fought back sort of sense. Carol is concerned for Maggie. This guy delivers the head to Negan's compound, and right away when he's driving up the red lights and like, Hey, stop! And basically, like, come outside, and then you got two big biker dudes, man, coming out, man. They're crazy as hell. They're cursing, basically saying, looking at, and he's playing with the head and everything. And they end up trading the Gregory's head for the, the guy, you know, for them to go back to the hilltop. So, anyway, the team infiltrates, you know, when the guy was going to get the other guy, the one of the Negan's men, Daryl, comes, slashes his throat, and the other guy got Michoned. That's what they call it. You've been Michoned. I like that. That's going to be probably a meme this week. So that guy's been Michoned, man. There's a lot of Michoned, man. So anyway, they end up killing a lot of humans, man. There's pics of abashed-in heads in one of the, the, the quarters, man. And basically that shows you what Negan has done with Lucille, basically reminding the guys, hey, if you don't do what I say, you're going to get your head bashed in, basically. That sort of thing. And they take photos of it, so that's pretty crazy. So that's stuff to look forward to, man. Very happy to sleep on, man. So anyway, this guy sees Abraham. He ends up cutting him, not really hurting him, but ends up stabbing him a little bit, you know, a little slice. He ends up pulling the alarm, and the alarms, uh, everyone's up, man. Negan's group is aware that people are there. And basically, it's a full-on fight, man. Carol is mad at Maggie, and they're kind of fighting outside, basically. Like, you know what? You shouldn't be out here. You need to stay back. And Maggie's like, I can do this. Oh, my God. You know, like, I, all that sort of sense. And it basically goes back, man, to the fight. You know, freaking it cuts back to Rick with the AK. He's like, he's going at it, man. He's going hard on it. Negan's men are just like, ah, like, freaking 
dropping like flies, honestly. Negan's men suck at hell, man. They can't even really shoot a gun. They couldn't even get Heath and Glenn. Heath and Glenn hid in the closet, and then they freaking did the Rambo. Boom, 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 and they end up, like, freaking firing from the hip. They end up freaking opening the door. All the guys are dead, man. All of a sudden, uh, a guy is raising his gun. Boom! Jesus saves the day. Pretty cool, right? So, uh, anyway, where, where are we at, man? Yeah, they, and Gabriel kills this guy. Finally, Gabriel mans up, man. I think Gabriel has, yeah, he's killed walkers, but now he kills a human, dude. He goes and he's like, I am building, you know, a better place for you. Talking, talking about heaven and everything. He basically does a boondock saint's prayer. Not the full-on prayer. He doesn't actually copy the prayer, but, you know what I mean? Boondock saint sort of style. And boom, he freaking snipes that guy right off there. Guy's probably head's freaking blown up and everything. That was amazing, man. Gabriel was like, amen. That's some cool uh, character character progression, man. So anyway, they've killed all Negan's man, man. They're arresting Carol and Mankey are end up end up being caught because when this guy's trying to escape with, um, and I like it because uh, Rick's like, so which one of them is Negan? And then all of a sudden this guy ends up going on the motorcycle and they end up shooting him. That's Daryl's bike from a few weeks ago, the one that Dwight took. So Dwight's been to that place. You know, he was caught and everything. Obviously, when we see him, Dwight's going to have a burned off face. Ooh, did I spoil it? Mm. No, but uh, I think a lot of people already know that. I mean, no one, if you don't remember who Dwight is, I'm not going to say who, but it's not really, he's not a big, like, huge-ass character in the comics or anything. I haven't read the comics up to that point, but I know who, what, you know, who Dwight is, technically. So we did get to meet Dwight early when we probably shouldn't have, but that's a cool thing that now that Daryl's bike's there, Daryl's crossbow's probably not. I think we know where it's going, man, what's going to happen in the next few weeks. But for sure, that happens, man. I'm basically saying, hey, we have Maggie and Carol. I'm assuming that's Negan's girls, not Negan's wives or anything, but that's people working for Negan. Thus, um, that's the end, man. So that's that's where we're heading next week, man. We haven't seen Negan, but we saw pictures of what Lucille has done. So what do I think about this episode overall? First off, I gotta say the action of the episode, Ray Nicotero and the team of the choreography for what they did was really awesome, man. Aaron, a lot of people were there, man. Team Rick freaking kicked Team Negan's ass, dude. They were going hard on hit, dude. I love the action in here. Very heart pounding, dude. It was a very intense episode. Literally, when they were infiltrating the place, my heart was beating so fast, dude. I felt I felt like there was something bad coming. I felt Negan was there. I felt Dwight was there. I felt some bad force was there that was going to hurt Rick's group or hurt Rick or hurt any of them. Man. It was pretty damn a bad feeling. So intense. Very much building to the climax, dude. It was pretty crazy. The practical effects in here, dude. All the, the bullets and everything going on, man, definitely. I can't imagine how it was when they were filming all those things. Probably took two, three days to film all that stuff, man. Like, the actual action scenes, dude. That's crazy, dude. I honestly love all that stuff. Very close quarters, dude. Shotgun, freaking Daryl running. I don't even think Daryl had much to say in here, but Carol and Daryl were smoking cigarettes. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah. Finally, somebody. Now we just need Jesus to be smoking a cig, dude. And Rick to smoke a cig. Finally, they're doing that. They're probably all stale and everything now, but... Still, that was pretty cool, Daryl. If you didn't notice, Daryl had a cigarette in his hand. They just didn't really close up on that, man. That was pretty awesome. Uh, more Rosita and Heath. Now, I'm not a big fan of Heath. Heath is kind of just that dead weight there that's kind of there. And Rosita, you know, I'm very happy she got more stuff to do in here. But what she's complaining about is already like, oh, really? You're still talking about that? The one that Morgan still hung up about and everything? But, you know, Heath and Rosita, at least we got to see more of them. We got to see a little bit more of that. Very happy to at least see a little bit more attention to them. I don't think Heath is going to be dead, I mean, alive for long. Because that actor is going to go to another show called 24. And if you don't know what 24 is, apparently, yeah. it's. But Jack Bauer's not going to be in it, So, but he's going to be in there. I don't know if he's the main star or not. But remember, he was in Straight Outta Compton, so this guy could go places. He doesn't have to be in The Walking Dead. He could go to other places. He's not being used that much in Walking Dead, so apparently they could just kill him off. I'm fine with that. Kill him. Boom. He's out. Go to another place. Fine. Uh, that's not a big deal for me. I love how they are looking at like this uh, Negan's group, the Saviors. I love how they're making them not look, man, but they have that badass style, that motorcycle. They curse and everything. They have that very bad. You don't want to be mixed with them, sort of thing. So I love how they end up doing the Saviors, man. I was like right out of the comics to into the show, man. I really love that. I love how they're very menacing. They're very scary. You know, they're not guys to mess with. 
Uh, the last 30 minutes were the best, man. I think that, like, if you put the first 30 minutes a little slow, a little boring, kind of wasted time, kind of dragged it out, the last 30 minutes is where it all picked up, man. The photos of the Bastion heads, that was really well. The Glenn's reaction to it and the directing, like I said, Greg Nicotero did an awesome job. Now the only cons about the episode, man, the ending of the episode, Maggie and Carol, we have them. Oh, my God. Ooh. Like, I love Carol, man. I like Maggie. I like them both, man. But, oh, my God. Like, I'm not, like, in my seat. Like, oh, my God. They have him. Okay, if one of them die. Okay. If you kill Daryl. Okay. You kill Glenn. Okay. Man, I've been watching this show since day one ever since it's aired. I love these characters, man. I've been around these characters for a long time. I'm going to cry when one of them die. Yes, I am. But... I just want to see Negan bash someone's head in already. Come on, bring Negan in. I'm tired of... I'm, I know, I've been telling you guys, and I'm pretty sure a lot of Walking Dead followers have been telling you, you know, those who don't really know much about Walking Dead, Negan's going to come and bash someone's head in, in the finale. It's going to happen in the finale. But the thing is, is you could have had Negan on that radio voice. You could have had him like, hey, you. You could have had Negan have that voice and do a little cameo there if Jeffrey didn't work, and that could have been done. But no, it's some little girl that's like, hey, how we have Carol and Maggie. I don't like the ending. The ending was very just, ugh, for me. Um, because it's just going to be a filler next week. Not like a full-on filler. It's going to progress the storyline. I get where it's going. I do. But it's just like, really, four more weeks? Can next week be the finale? Can we just be the finale already? Can we just end it and have the finale? I'd rather have that than wait four weeks just to see Negan. Because we know what's coming. We know, I don't know who's going to die, but we know what's coming. And it's death. We just gotta wait four weeks for it. So thank you so much, AMC, for doing that for us. Now we have to wait. Can the next week just be the finale? Just skip it all the way to the finale. I'm fine with that. But we'll see what goes on, man. Uh, the 30 minutes, you know, the first 30 minutes in, like I said, a little slow. Uh, Carol and Tobin, that felt forced, man. I kind of like that they kissed and everything. I was like, oh wow, relationship. But it does feel forced. It feels just like it feels like like hey, you know, Michonne and them, Rick. That's cool. But let's have Carol have somebody to kiss and like. Well, it's not tomorrow yet. Oh, that's where we got the title. It's not tomorrow yet, so they could still have sex or something. I don't know. It feels forced. Also, Abraham towards Rosita. All that stuff. They, like, focus on it, and then they don't go back to it. You know what I mean? So, that kind of goes on as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end up giving this Walking Dead episode, man. Not tomorrow yet. A B plus. I thought it was a real good episode, man. It wasn't great. Uh, I like last week's episode just a teeny bit better, man, but the action in here was great, man. The action was really great. Other than that, other stuff like that was good. You know, I like the, 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 the production of you know, the set pieces going into the... Uh, they're not even at the sanctuary yet, man. That is not Negan's compound. Negan's compound is a factory, man. It's a factory. Walkers are surrounded by it. They're in chains and everything. We have not seen Negan's hideout, man. That is not Negan's hideout. Negan, that's just like the place where he keeps his armory and all that. Wait till you see Negan's hideout, dude. Wait till we get to see Negan, Jeffrey Dean Morgan coming out, dude. Holy crap, it's going to be crazy. So comment down below. Tell me your thoughts about this Walking Dead episode, guys. I'll be seeing you guys next week for more. Four more weeks until Negan, guys. 13, 14, 15, 16. That's pretty damn crazy, guys. Want to support the channel? Hit that subscribe button. Really would appreciate it. Share, the, share this video, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.